So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make your photos PNG so that you can turn them into thumbnails or you can make fun or professional looking photos with it and it's completely if you're free. So if that's what you're looking for, stay tuned. <laughs> So uh, first what you're going to go is you're going to open up your web browser. This can work on any computer, by the way. This will work on Chromebook, Mac, Linux, Mac, uh, Windows, um, all most of the computers at least. I'm not sure about uh, other things. But anyways, what you're going to do is open up your web browser. I'm using Chrome, but you can. It, this can probably work on other things, other web browsers. So what you're going to click right down is Pixlr, which is the photo editor we're going to be using so if this doesn't so I'll put that in the link in the description so if this doesn't come up to you it might show you like Pixlr and uh, you know some photos and around it what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down from there and you're going to click launch um, Pixlr editor not Pixlr Express you're going to click Pixlr editor anyways so once you finished you're gonna end up with this screen, Pixlr Editor. So what you're gonna press is you're gonna click Create a New Image. So you can name this whatever you want. I'm gonna name this Example. You can set the resolution of your uh, uh, photo. So I'm gonna do Movie 1080p it'll show the width and the height now before you do anything before you click OK make sure transparent is checked so that you can make your photo PNG when you click OK this is what you're gonna show up with so by default the tool is the crop tool so we don't want the crop tool we're gonna move to the move tool um, so we don't accidentally do any mistakes anyways so that we can open up an, now we need to open up an image but we before we do that let me just sh briefly explain the interference so here are the tabs here here are where your tools are here are here is your la layers and your new images we're gonna only stick with one image though we're gonna have we may we might have multiple layers though so you're just so the layers are just so that you can layer things so one thing can be behind something one thing can be on top um, so we can do that stuff first to open up an image here we're gonna click on file and we're gonna click open image the here it says the keyboard shortcut for that which is control uh, control O so now we're we so this is on my uh, SD card here. So there's two ways you can import a photo. So you can do camera or you can take a picture of something in real life, a camera or a an iPhone. I use a camera though because it's easier to get onto my computer. Or you could take a screenshot of your computer screen, and you can do it that way too. So I have two, um, so I'm going to show you how you can do both of those. At, so I'll stick with the real life image, but at the end of the video, I'll show you guys how you can take a screenshot of your screen on a Mac. Anyways, so once you're on your uh, fire, file, you're going to click an image. And as you can see here, if you have videos on it, it'll only like kind of highlight the photos so uh, you're gonna open up your image so here I'm using my cat but you can use yourself or just something else or a screenshot of your screen so here's what you have so far so we can't really start editing it yet until we um, basically post it on the the thing I don't know what to call it so what you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure you're on it you're gonna go command a so that selects the whole photo should be outlined in these dots next you're gonna click command C that should copy it we're gonna exit out 
Do you want to save the image before closing? You're going to press no. And we're going to press command V. So make sure you're on the move tool. So you can't really work with this. It's way too big. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to make this smaller. So to do that, we're going to click on edit. And we're going to do free transform. The keyboard shortcut shortcuts is control T. Don't click free to sort. I'll show you what happens if you click free to sort. Yeah, you're going to stretch out the photo. So I'm just going to quickly uh, not save that. So you're going to click Edit and Free Transform. You're going to hold this down. You're going to drag it to your size, except you're going to have to hold down Shift. Because if you don't, then you can squish the video. So again, I don't want to save that. Okay, let's do it properly this time. So we're going to press down Shift. And we're going to make this a lot smaller for us to work with. So that's a little too big still. Alright, so now we have it. It's pretty uh, small now. We can work with it. I'm just going to click off. Do you want to apply the changes this time? Yes, we do. So here we have our uh, photo here. This might be a screenshot. The first thing you're going to do is we want to get rid of the big chunks here. So to... Uh, you can, this will also work on Photoshop, by the way. If you're lucky enough to have uh, access to Photoshop, you can use that. Except that's not free, which is why we're using Online Photo Editor P Pixlr. So the first thing you're going to click is you're going to click this tool. So this has a very uh, long name. So basically, this tool, for short, is just a select tool. So you're going to select that. You're going to hold down somewhere, and you're going to drag the size you want your square should be after you let go you're gonna have a choice to move around the background except that only works when I don't want it to or you can delete it so press delete and now we have that place uh, deleted now you can also move this around and you can delete there except that's a slightly more time-consuming so that's why I'm just gonna make the squares what the size I want. So again, create a new one. Press delete. Put that out of the way. And yeah, so I'll meet you guys after I finished getting out all the big chunks of the photo. Okay guys, so once you have finished uh, getting out the big chunk so quickly I'm gonna click the move tool I'm just gonna move it more to the center so it's easier to see what I'm doing but now we want to get rid of these little small details here so to do that we're gonna go and click the lasso tool and we're gonna drag if you use the paint program this will be similar you use you just drag the whole thing the part that you want erased gonna click delete so if you are a little if you have a shaky hand kind of you can also use so instead of the free hand tool you can use the polygonal lasso tool so you can you don't have to drag you just wait for a moment that you want it to uh, stop the only thing is with this is that it's kind of hard to get it to that edge which is why I prefer the freehand lasso tool but you might want to use the polygonal lasso tool if you have a bit of a shaky hand or you don't need the holes or you want to make a shape that the select tool cannot make like a triangle so I'll see you guys after I've gotten all the details out of this and I'll show you what you can do with your newly created PNG photo. Okay guys, so once you have finished getting out those small details, um, I'm sure I'm gonna quickly show you a little hack that might help you out. Um, so one second here. So what you're gonna do is I'm gonna search Google so backgrounds. I'm gonna use grunge background, so grunge back 
background. I'll show you why you're gonna want to. It won't actually matter what background you use as long it's just one color. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on images. Okay, guys. So once you have finished your uh, photo, your uh, getting out the small little details here. I'm gonna just quickly move to the, go to the move tool just to show you a little better. I'm gonna search up quickly grunge backgrounds. We're gonna take just any will do. I'm gonna drag it onto my desktop. I'm gonna click file. Open image. You're gonna go to your desktop if that's where you put it. And then you're gonna click open. So it's pretty small this photo, but that's okay. So uh, the reason why we're using this is to see. So let's just command A, command C it quickly. Exit, command V. I'm gonna quick. You can actually move layers around. So I'm gonna move this one under our cat here. So I'm going to click edit, free transform, shift, oh, it won't matter for the background that much. Okay, so this is so you can see if you've missed anything. And if you're on this layer, you can still crop it and you can't, and you press delete and you can't um, delete it so that, let's say, there's this weird little thing here that we need to get rid of. We can do that easily without getting rid of the background. So, here, now that we have um, our image, we can actually make cool things with it. So, at the end of the video, I'll show you something cool you can make in iMovie with your PNG photo. But, uh, for now, I'm going to show you something uh, we can do with Pixlr itself. So, quickly, I'm going to go to the Move tool, and I'm just going to move around the photo which I can't do. Alright. So keyboard shortcut for undo is uh, com Command Z, by the way. But now that we have this, I'm going to select this cat. And let's say I want to move her somewhere here. Okay. So you might want to add some text. So to do that, you're going to go and you're going to select the type tool. And, oh, my cat is literally right beside me. She's looking out the window. You can put this somewhere. So the set size default is going to be 30. I moved it to 100. You can make it bigger or smaller, uh, depending on what you prefer. I'm going to make this 100% uh, white. And going to make it bold. This basically makes it really big. And I'm just going to write my cat's name, which is Joy Joy. Although she responds to Juju, because that's her nickname and we don't call her Joy Joy. Here, let me just show you quickly. Juju. Now if I say Joy Joy, she doesn't say anything. Uh, excuse me, she just, she wants to be pet, but look out the window. Anyways, so once you've clicked... Once you're finished, you can move that around. I actually surprisingly want to make this way bigger. Or, here, let me just do here. Nah. What I'm going to do quickly is, I'm, it, this is just like writing something, so return. Here. Lays Joy Joy. You can click OK. Now we might want to do some things to this. So what you're going to do is you're going to right click on your layer selected, which is the type, which is uh, this. We're going to go over to layer styles. So you might want to have an outer glow on it. So I'm just showing some examples here. So you might want to make it uh, so you just set the hardness bigger. Oh, that's really weird. You can make this uh, that, like that, except I don't want any of that. What I want is inner glow. I just leave it like that. I don't do anything. And then I go to bevel. I make... I, use, I do this for most of my uh, exploration guide Minecraft videos and other videos. 
So for the distance, I make it 5. And for the size, I make it 5 as well. I leave the color opacity and the angle how it is. And I'm going to change the color opacity. Well, for the, the highlights, I leave it the same. The shadows color opacity, I make it 45. So there we have it. Now I quickly want to move it. So we go to the move tool quickly. All right. So now I might want to add um, a few other things here. So what I can do is I'm going to select one more image quickly. And I'll sh um, so I'll be back in a second. Okay, so what I did since I'm lazy and I don't want to make a whole new like PNG toy, I just searched up PNG uh, images. So I'm going to click File, Open Image. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this toy. That's PNG. Command A, Command C, Command V. This is a good size, except it's a little too small and I want to rotate it. So, edit, free transform. Here's the, ro you can move this around so that it rotates here. And that's pretty cool. I'm just going to move that over here quickly so that I can rotate it like this. I want to make it a little, oh, that's really big. Oh, I forgot to hold down shift double. Oh, well. So here is your completed photo. So let me just full screen it quickly. All right, so in the background, let me just scroll over to this layer, fix up the background. All right, so once you're happy with your image, you can make really good YouTube thumbnails or uh, Twitter or Facebook stuff with it too. Um, but once you're finished with your image, what you're going to click is you're going to go to file and you're going to press save or the, I'm just going to use the keyboard shortcut for this one command s which is save so you could save it on pixel account or my computer I prefer my computer because it's easier to access you can uh, rename it here if you want you're going to go and you're going to scroll down to PNG transparent full quality it's going to say uh, please wait so here is going to be your file size and you're going to click OK. Quickly you can uh, set it to where you want it to be. If you have any files on your desktop, you can transport it to there. So uh, once you're happy with where you want it to be, you're going to click on save. So now if I exit this and wait. And there it is, it popped up, so I'm just going to quickly uh, move these here. Alright, so here we have our image. It's safe to uh, exit out here. It's going to say, changes you made m may not be saved. That's okay, because we already saved it. It's going to be on our desktop. It might be somewhere else, though. So now you, have, you can upload this image to YouTube or, whatever, or wherever you want. So what you're going to do now is I'm going to show you the thing that's cool you can do in iMovie. So since I didn't make, so I'm, so since I didn't make a P, this is not completely PNG. I didn't just cut out the cat, but I'm still going to show you anyways. But actually, no, I'm just going to quickly make a PNG photo and that'll be, and then actually, no, I'll just use that little, uh, cat thing. Okay. So I'm using this, uh, it's supposed to be down here, the little, uh, branding watermark. That's where I got the image from. But what you can do is I'm going to quickly open up iMovie. I'm going to press create new after it loads. You're going to press on movie. So here you have it. So what you can do is I'm going to quickly... So I guess this is going to be your background then. So I'm going to drop that there. Sorry, my computer is a little slow when it comes to editing. Alright, so here we... I want to see if I can just get rid of that effect. Okay. Okay, there we go. I just cropped it so that it doesn't do that effect. So here I have a background. You can use a photo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a P and 
this is way too big a PNG f uh, photo over it but it can also work with videos if you have a video you can just crop it this is a little too big right now so you just gonna s select it you're gonna click on fit you're gonna click on picture in picture and now we have there so you can just keep it in one place the whole time or you can do what I like uh, which is keyframing so wherever this is this is where it starts I'm gonna click it so this is gonna do this it's gonna turn upside down it's gonna do that it's gonna move here and then it's gonna move big and then when it starts to dissolve I want it to be small so just click away for its reset and I'm just gonna quickly make it so that it doesn't dissolve so quickly so here it starts and there that looks pretty cool in my opinion anyways guys with that being said I hope you enjoyed the video if you did please leave a like share it and subscribe with your friends if you have any problems or questions um, go down to the comment section below and I'll reply to you as soon as possible okay so now I'm going to show you guys how you can make uh, take a screenshot so there's two ways to do this first I'm just going to open up Minecraft just as an example alright so there's two ways to do this so on a Mac at least so one sh um, shift command 3 which takes a picture of your whole screen or two shift command 4 which just takes a picture of a part of your screen so I'll show you how to do both so you're gonna hold down shift command 3 and it's gonna make that uh, sound but if you want to just take a picture of this you know minecraft logo or uh, just part of your screen you hold down shift command 4 and now your cursor turns into this little uh, selector so what you're gonna do is you're gonna drag and once you have the thing you want to uh, take a picture of you're gonna let go and you have your new screenshot so it's gonna appear of, oh it did I did it twice anyways so it's gonna appear over here these are where your screenshots are anyways um yeah that's how you do a screenshot that being said I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next video